Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Well, it's early in the day and late in the year, and we're still doing great with solar. No gasoline needed. Everything's looking good. But those Victron charge controllers in absorption with that lower voltage. How could that be? I'm going to show you. Beautiful day. So we're back in the, uh, the main system right here for the, the house, and that's 600 amp hours worth of the Chins batteries. Uh, that's two 300 amp hours tied in parallel for a 600 amp hour bank. And it's early in the day. Shows 74% full, almost 75% full. And both charge controllers already show absorption, as you can see by the yellow flashing light on both those controllers. Each one of those has 500 watts of solar tied into it for a total of 1,000 watts coming into this system right here. So I wanted to show you on the app how, you know, when I've still got 25% left to finish off the charge, why is it in absorption so quick and early? So we'll take a look at this one here, which is the, uh, the top string on that 1000 watt array and show you on the app what it looks like. I mean, right now there's only 108 watts coming in holding the voltage at 13.54, which is well below what uh, the absorption voltage should be. And here, this is the lower string, the lower 500 watts. Same thing in absorption, 120-ish watts coming in. Voltage, 13.59. And if we look at the bar, a uh, graph at the left-hand side, the furthest left-hand side, you can see that at one point today, we did hit 14.2 volts, and that's what the absorption level is set for. Of course, it's not there now, but as you can see, well, now we're getting some good sun. That voltage will come up, and now here it comes up to 14 and it'll go right up to about 14.2. There it goes, 14.2. But that's with, you know, 500, 500 watts off of each string coming in. So 1,000 watts basically coming in. And that holds it up to 14.2, and it'll hold that for the two hours. Now, in some of my previous videos, uh, as I've been back here showing you guys what's going on back here, some of you have pointed out that, hey, how can those charge controllers be in absorption when you're, you know, only 60, 70 percent full. And it's because of the fast changing conditions out here. So what happens is we get a lot of clouds rolling through. Right now is a nice uh, open sunny uh, bit of weather hitting those panels and, and they're pretty much maxing out right now. They're nice and warm, 900 watts total basically and holding it right at 14 too. So what happens is when the when the clouds were, you know, covering the panels, very little, uh, you know, power was coming in off of either string and the voltage was, you know, whatever it was, 13.6 or seven. And then the clouds move out real quick and it spikes, you know, these will spike over 500 watts momentarily. And then it, what it does is it spikes, you know, the voltage right there too. So even if I was at 70% full, which that's about what I was uh, when it first went into absorption, and then the rest of the, you know, the last couple of hours, you know, it changes quite a bit. So that's how it does it. You know, it's it's going to get up to 100% full, but, and it wasn't really truly in the absorption phase. You know, it just spiked momentarily a little while ago to that 14.2. And the second that those charge controllers see 14.2, even if it's just for a second, they click over into absorption mode. So it's trying to keep it up at 14.2 the whole time. And right there you can see, you know, it basically is now with, with good sunshine coming in, 14.18. 
14.17. So it's holding it there at 14.2 for its full absorption, which is set for two hours. And then if we go, like this is the uh, lower string, as you can see, I've got it named there. And then if I go up to the top string, you know, it's doing just, just fine too right now. I'll let it settle in. There it goes. So, yeah. So, 900-ish watts coming in. But you can tell I'm getting a little bit of a little bit of a cloud rolling through. And then the voltage just drops down a little bit. So what it, it does, it's not counting this time in absorption. It's only going to count when it's up there at 14.2. So when it, the sun comes back into full here, it'll go right back to 14.2. And then that wattage will start dropping down as the batteries, you know, balance out and just hold that 14.2. But like right now, you know, it's just not getting what it did just, just one minute ago. But it still is in absorption mode. And given the conditions, whatever they are, it'll keep allowing maximum amount of power to come in and finish off that two hours in absorption. So as you can see, you know, when it's letting in about that thousand watts for both of these strings, that's what it takes to hold it at 14.2. And of course that voltage would, like I said, drop down the longer it holds it there. And here we're just getting a little cloud. So it's only holding it at like 14. So it's not adding that time for absorption right now. It'll add when, only when it's in 14.2. But as early in the day as this is, uh, this should get up to 100% full, no problem. Reading about 76% right now. So yeah, I've had a few of you guys say the same thing. It's like, why is my charge controller going into absorption when I show another 25% of battery capacity to be put into those batteries? And that's why it's on these fast changing conditions. Now right there, I just missed it. It dropped down real quick to like 200 and some watts. Uh, you know, these trade winds out here, they blow quick. The clouds come and go extremely fast. And that's why you see it fluctuate so, so quickly. But this is so nice on the Victron charge controllers. It just keeps up with whatever conditions you've got right now. So, yeah, I mean, even 14 volts. I mean, I'm getting up to a great charge today. But it will finish this charge off, and I believe it will today because it's a pretty nice day. And just as another comparison, how this Victron charge controller w works on days like this, as you can see, this is that watt cycle battery we reviewed the other day. It's down to 24%, but it is charging right now 380 watts coming in off a 500 watt string. And let's look at see what the maximum, the battery voltage has been today. Now see it's reading 13.8, but you know, under charging conditions, <clears throat> that's not, you know, you know, completely accurate. I mean, it's getting up to that, but it's a long ways from getting up to that 14.2 especially, you know, with only 24% of its capacity there. So let's look at the history for today and see under these kind of conditions, you can see far left, you know, it did hit 13.83 momentarily. So even with this low of a battery, you know, it's, it's conceivable that, you know, it would hit 14.2 momentarily you know, but it's not doing that on that low of a battery. It did hit 13.83, and it's got a long ways to go to be completely full. So, you know, even if it does this for for hours now, you know, this battery won't probably make it to full today because I am also running uh, the refrigerator freezer off of this system. And that's the charge controller there, and you can see it's never hit high enough to kick it out of the bulk stage and even trigger the absorption stage. But if this was a little bit full, a little bit more full, and we got those fast moving conditions, uh, this could do the same thing. It could momentarily hit 14.2. Uh, the Victron would say, okay, we're in absorption, and it would just keep trying to hold that for the rest of the day. But yeah. But 385 watts coming in off of that string right now is respectable, but a long way to go to get full.
And here's a good look right now in absolute full sunshine. This is that 1000 watt uh, string of panels going into those side-by-side -side, uh, Victron charge controllers in the back. You know, 500 going to the top one, 500 going to the bottom one. And right now, under these conditions, those panels are warming up. They're not going to be pushing quite 1,000 watts, pretty close, but the warmer they get, it drops a little bit. But, you know, under these conditions today, that chin system will be 100% full. And the good news is, <laughs> the sun starts coming up in, what, just a little over four weeks. About five weeks, the sun starts coming back up. So, doing well this time of the year. No gas needed. All right, you guys. Catch you on the next one. Aloha.